thing you do is you install the bracket on the lid and to put it in position you made three inches to the beginning of the bracket and you drill holes with a 2164 drill bit stick a bolt in the hole that you just drilled to hold it into place and then we're going to do the same thing to the front of the trailer anyway prop the lid up with the bed carriage bolts with flat washers and we're gonna put them in from the inside out there's these little foam things to help keep it waterproof put one on each of the eight bolts and now we're gonna bolt the bracket on use a lock washer and a half inch nut. After you got them on there, you need a half inch um, ratchet. I'm using an air ratchet just because it's handy. The only thing I've done in advance is I've used electrical tape to take up the slash between the uh, bracket and the cane bolt. The cane bolt is obviously smaller than the bracket. And by doing this, that allows the bracket to be exactly in the center of the um, bracket. To, so it'll slide in and out easier. So, take this, insert it into this bracket, and go in all the way in the top part. The measurement from here to this next bracket is six and a half inches, and that's when it's propped open. So, there's a couple of different ways that you can do this next part. On most units, this bracket will probably hold the lid open while you drill it. It's probably a good idea to have a friend, if you have one handy, to hold the lid just to make sure it doesn't move while you're drilling it. And then go ahead and drill. Okay, and then we're gonna close the lid for a minute. And then once you have all the bolts in place, go ahead and fold the lid back up. We're gonna prop the two pieces together. Okay, and then put the lock washer and nut on all of these bolts. If you've done everything correctly, at this point you'll be able to insert the bolt and it should slide right in there like that. So there you have 